Hey everybody, my name is Billy and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we got to Saffron City, is it? I can't remember. And we kicked Kale's ass once again. In And we also got some levels up. In this episode, we will tackle the boss once more. And I have to say now, this is a post commentary because the audio mocked up, so I've had to re, -re I have had to re-record the sound on this, so I apologise if it's a bit sketchy here and there. Anyway, so we have a cubo level 32, which we end up taking down, and you'll actually see during the boss battle that someone is actually a bit of a boss. <laughs> of course we get poisoned again, so I have to quickly run off and heal. There we go, right. Okay, yes. That's right. <laughs> we are sending Darren out front. He is a bit of a boss in this episode, I have to say. I was a bit worried about how have, having to use Ditto, but we you it actually turns out quite useful in some cases. So I was worrying for nothing. It's sort of a uh, plus with that quick claw run it also helps a lot, but yes. Anyway, moving on. Okay, level 37 and level 30, and I still beat it. Spoiler! <laughs> Missed. And I went go for Horde Attack, because it's a horny bastard. And I basically just spam Horn Attack through this. Um, I get quite impatient at some point, because it takes a bit too long, and end up just, yeah, speeding up. There we go. Right. Need to run down, so we actually get a. Well, I was going to say get a level up there, but no. And I decided to stick out, see if I can get a bit of extra damage in, and wouldn't believe it, it uses fake out and fucks me right over. So I switch to Ashley and surf the bitch. Yes. Surf, 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 speed it up, and dead. And it's about to night Rhyhorn, so I decide to send that to Tara. Yes, I decide to send that Tara and give them a her go. And we use takedown, which did fuck all. Ember, nothing. Fight. And it starts to actually do stuff. <laughs> and two times, and I was really shitting myself there thinking, oh shit, and boom, Tara takes the right horn out. Okay. Now next up he has Nido Queen, his strongest by far, which is level 43. 41. Fail. And I see if I can get an extra hit in, and wouldn't you believe it, I do! Not a good hit, but yes, it's a hit all the same, and then it uses Poison Sting and dead it. Right, okay. <clears throat> I send out Carla, and I can't remember, I can't remember if Carla does the rest, I think so. I think I use Fly and just speed up through it and kill it off, if I'm correct. Ah, uh, that's why it uses Double Kick and it kills me. I can't remember. And again, I get tired here, so I think in a second I will just start speeding up. Uh, come on, where are I? Double kick, that's, that, that's the double kick I was worried about. And fly, and... Quite a bit of damage, which was really nice, because it was a critical hit. And we, oh, that's how it happened. Poison points, yes. And it decides to use Tail Whip for some reason. I remember how this turns out. Yeah, thanks for that poison. Double kick. Yeah, for some reason I decided to fly and I should have just used wing attack and I could have took it out. Anyway. Alright, Needle Queen. Dig it. <laughs> Terrible joke, I know. Right, anyway, moving on. And double kick. Missed, thankfully. And boom, up we go. And deaded. We win again. Yes. And for beating this team, Rocket Giovanni guy. We get a little sp special something. Yeah. And uh, if we talk to the old guy here. Thank you, blah blah blah. And we can give you anything. And he gives us the Master Ball. Yes. The Master Ball. The Pokeball that can catch anything without fail. As it says there. So I will most likely end up using it on a Legendary at some point, knowing my luck. And yes, I know which legendary I'm going to use it on, actually, now I think about it. Yes, and anyway... Moving on, and off we go out, I'll just quickly heal up, and then... No, I won't, okay. 
And I just end up going straight out. Mm -hmm. Eat up. I love the speed up button in these games. Alright, okay. And go straight to the Pokemon Center and I also start to explore the town a bit and show you the places that were blocked off by the Team Rockets. Okay. We go straight to the top we have here, the Copycat House. Yeah. Pretty uh, pretty ordinary until you go upstairs and talk to this little girl. Yes. Hi, do you like Pokemon? And apparently that's me talking. Uh, no, I just asked you. Huh? No strange. Quit mimicking. But that's my favorite hobby, yes. She copycats you and mimics you. If you go and fetch her a poker doll from a convenience store or whatever, Pokemon, whatever you want to call it, she gives you the TM copycat. Which is a pretty... Well, I'm not... It's, I suppose it could be alright if you use it for strategy, but... Yeah, not my kind of TM. Thank you for writing over to you soon. Hey, don't look at my letter. <laughs> I'm gonna look. I was given a PP up as a gift. I mean, it's a PP of me, blah, 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 blah. Yes, I already knew that. Anyway. Copycat is cute. I'm going to get her a poker doll, which just basically explains what I said. Right. Now. Off to fight Sabrina in the gym. Yes, I. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fight every gym, every trainer in the gym, and then I will show you a very easy way to get to the gym leader. So back in a second. I think. Yeah, this is where I tell you about the thing before I knew the sound messed up. So, right, there we go. Okay. So to do this, to get straight to the gym leader. What you have to do is go straight left. First off, and go down. Go left, straight left again. And once more. And there you go. Right here, when I end up showing you what how my Pokémon stand because I leveled them up a bit fighting the leaders. Down went up to level 31, and Sammy went. Tara went up to 31 and Sammy went up to level 35. Yes. Okay, I had a vision of your arrival, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. Hurry up. What was this? I just like battling, but if you wish I will show you my powers. I was like, if you don't like battling, why did you become a gym leader? It's a pretty poor life choice, isn't it? Because if it's something you hate. Anyway, we have start off with a Kadabra, level 38. I shat myself when I saw that. And yes, it uses future sight. Oh dear, and I use some pretty good tactics for this, really. Right, okay. We end up using future sight myself, so if it. Thankfully, I got the quick claw in again. So, future sight in a couple of turns, I will get hit by whatever it is, basically. I use reflective grace and defense, which was a bit of a stupid thing, to be quite honest. And you decide to attack. I took it with. Well, I shot myself anyway. I used side beam just to see if I can get a hit in, and I did. And then future sight again, which it used. It took the future sight attack, and I thought, well, I think I'm actually faster than him, so I don't know how I thought I was faster than him, but I somehow am. So I used side beam again and take the git out. Yeah. I got really lucky with that. <laughs> okay, and Venomoth. So I decided to stick with it and see if I can actually do something with this. So I use Psybeam again, and it hits, and I'm faster. And look at this. Look, look at. I nearly took the git out. I'm so pissed off with that. And then it used Gus, and then I fainted. Oh, I can't believe that. So I went for the obvious choice and sent Tar out because it's the fire type, which is strong against bug type. And then Taurus took the future side attack after I realised that I was thinking, you know, shit, and, well, of course, it didn't have to do that much, so. And then she does the dick move and uses the hyper potion. Yeah, dick move. So I just use Amber, and I think, yeah, that does a bit decent amount of damage, which it does. Might break more off. Okay, Amber again. And wouldn't you believe for the next turn? Uh, after this, anyway, guess what happens? Yeah. Hyper Potion, you get. So I just thought, fuck it, speed up. 
And I somehow survived with 3 HP, so Tara, you beast. Alright, okay, and she spins out a Mr. Mime, so I thought, you know what, stick out, because we have something that's super effective against it, which is Bite. Nom nom nom. Yes. Okay, super effective, and it gets one shot, last shot. I got one last shot in from it anyway, so we can it down a bit. And again, use Bite with Ashley, and Bite again. And now, this Alakazam is a Fuck at this one, isn't it? Uh, oh my god. Level 43. It uses Calm Mind to start off with, which boosts its special attack and special defense. I use Bite, it takes a tiny bit off. And then it uses it uses Calm Mind again, and then uses Psychic, which obliterates Ashley in a mo one move, and it's just like, holy mother of god. So I use here Fly to get away from it. And it, might, it uses Psychic, and I'm thinking, well, that's fuck that. But no, to my surprise, I survived it! So I quickly use Fly. I shit myself here as well when it said I took the huge decide to attack and it mit failed and I thank fuck for that. So anyway, I use Fly again. Well, it use, finishes off Fly and takes it out. So. And then end up running a level 2, level 38. Beautiful. And we defeated Sabrina. We have now got our fifth badge, yes. Well, hey. Woohoo! <laughs> anyway. I can't actually remember what else I do. Oh, yes, I know what I remember. What I, I did after this now, yes. Right, so. I get lost in the gym on the way out, yes. Yeah, surprise, look. Surprise, surprise. I forget to follow my own thing. And we get TM04, which is Calm Mind, which raises the special attack and special defense of the Pokemon like that Alakazam. Did a dick move. I thought it was psychic at first, then, then I actually thought it was a uh, light screen, but no, it was Calm Mind, HMO4. Yeah, so I had a bit of a dopey moment there, and I have another dopey moment here where I completely forget where I am. Yes, I should have gone like that, I should have gone straight right. But no, I screwed it up. And I actually realised that I'm thinking, oh crap, why can't I forgive this out? Hear me. But I eventually find my way out, so it's all good. God. <laughs> and if it, if I decide to hurry up, there we go. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. I find my way out. Okay. So I quickly go and either either quickly go and heal or heal myself for where I'm going to next. No, I heal myself, okay. Okay, heal, speedy up, speedy up, speedy up, come on. Ugh. The only time I actually forget to speed up. Alright, anyway, come on, there we go. Alright, so now we are flying back to Future City, where the next gym leader is. Okay. Again, I have a bit of a spicy moment. What the hell am I doing? Yeah. Come on, call up flight. There we go. And go to Future City. Now I speed up. Okay. So I take a little trip into these two houses here. This guy is the mood deleter. He can delete any move that your Pokemon knows. Even HM moves. And this here is on about Bill, which reminded me that this is Bill's grandparents' house, I think. Or gra it's Bill's relatives. He's up, she's on about the security to walk the warden. And this guy, hmm, you met Bill. He's my grandson. Yes, he's the. He's granddad. He's granddad Bill. Right. Okay, so I think that will call it for this episode. Thank you once again for watching, and in the next episode, I shall take up on the gym, which is a bloody poison type. Yeah. Anyway, so yes. Thank you once again for watching, and I shall see you next time. Bye!